new section within High Tools is the pressurization section. So this will allow us to pre-select um, um, some statico, some transfero or some compresso type equipment for maintaining our pressurization. The first thing you'll see here is you have to choose between uh, heating, cooling and solar. So depending on the, the system type that you're going to um, install on, you need to start with the pre-selection. So let's assume we've got a, a heating system here. Depending on your norm that you will work to and most likely your geographical location, you'll want to select a specific norm uh, for the selection. So in this instance, we'll use EN12828. We have a system that's just pure water. Uh, we have a supply temperature at 75 degrees Celsius and a return at 60. At the bottom of each of these sections, and you'll see that there's six of these sections as we move through the selection process, there is an orange bar. This allows us to go a little bit further and add some additional parameters in for our selection. And in this instance, if we wanted to, we could predetermine what the safety temperature limiter would be. In other words, what the maximum temperature of the system could be operated at. So we'll leave this one off just now and we'll just assume that we are working with, um, let's see, 80, 60. And we've got a minimum temperature in the system of, let's say, 10 degrees. And our fill temperature is slightly higher, let's say, 12 degrees. So we've selected these parameters here and we just need to click on this arrow here and move through to the next section. So this next section is all to do with pressure and it's going to allow us to predetermine what our, our uh, minimum pressure required in the system is going to be. So we've got 10 meters of static height here. Let's say our building is a little bit taller. Let's say it's 20 meters in static height. If you've got a minimum required pressure, perhaps you have a piece of equipment where you have a a minimum required pressure in the system. Um, let's say we've got 0.5 bar. We're going to make sure that we never drop below 0.5 bar in any given condition. We have a safety valve response pressure for a statico, a compressor, and a transfer. So these are the three different. So you can choose depending on what piece of equipment you think you might choose. And as we move through the sections, you'll be able to choose between these three. If you've got a uh, safety valve response pressure that you want to put in here you can at the moment it's 3.5 bar which is um, a relatively standard um, uh, safety valve pressure but let's uh, let's just leave it at 3.5 bar if we click on the um, advanced options here it gives us the option to place the pressurization in a different place typically pressurization should really be um, the neutral point the point of connection with the pressurization should be on the outlet of the pump, um, not on the suction side of the pump. If you choose to put it on the suction side of the pump, it is physically possible and technically possible. Um, in that instance, you need to add on the, the total amount of pump head that's being generated by the pump in order to stabilize your neutral point pressure um, adequately for uh, allowing for the pressure losses in your system. We'll leave this a little bit more traditional. We'll, we'll leave the, uh, the pressurization connected on the outlet of the pump in this instance. So we'll, we'll hide those advanced options again and move on to the third section here. Third section is an interesting one. It's water volume and power. In other words, how much water content do I have in my entire system, including my pipe work and my um, heat exchangers and my terminal units and my heat generation equipment, my boilers perhaps. And what's the total installed amount of power in my system as well? Uh, one of the coolest bits of this is being able to add in here, if I click on the advanced options, I'm able to add in perhaps a steel boiler uh, with a given amount of heat capacity. Um, so I can add all these things in individually. So I know if I have a set number of fan coil units or perhaps uh, radiators on a system. I can add all these in individually rather than just having a total sum at the top. So let's delete the advanced inputs here and we will predetermine that our water content of our system is perhaps something like 
10 cubic meters of, 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 uh, of water. And perhaps we've got something like um, 1200 kilowatts of installed power. When we come to the next one, it's just a matter of making selections on your options that you want with your pressurization. So in this instance, we've got pressure maintenance. Of course, we would like some sort of pressure maintenance. And do we want additional vacuum degassing incorporated as part of the solution? So we will select uh, yes here. And it's given us some uh, options here as to other things that we might want, do we want a redundancy of a pump or a compressor for instance, so a duty standby effectively with our, uh, with our pumps or compressors, where do we prefer the tech box, so the part with the, the brain cube connect, where do we want to have it, is it a symmetrically suspended butyl bag that we're looking for, or are we perhaps using a compressor that's maybe working with an external air compressor. So you can use all these parameters here to refine your overall product selection. If you've got size constraints, um, this is in here simply for vessels. Um, clearly as the vessels get um, bigger in capacity, they're going to get bigger in physical uh, dimensions as well. So perhaps you have a, a doorway um, or a, a specific orifice into a room where you've got to try and get something or a specific plinth size or maximum ceiling height or something. So if you've got any restrictions of size of vessel, you can put them in here and it will limit the selections based on those size constraints. So we'll assume here that we've got um, uh, no need for anything in terms of redundancy of compressors or tech boxes. We prefer the tech box to be on the top of it if it uh, is indeed one of those we want a butyl bag and we'll just simply collect here so as you can see once we're through to section six of six we've got these four columns here we've got our parameter that we've selected against and here's all our statical selections so you can see statical is highlighted in blue here and this is all the selections for our staticos a vento as a standalone and all of the calculated data below it. Now obviously on your phone or your tablet you might want to export that. So you'll see down here in the bottom corner there's an export function that allows us to send this data out so you could perhaps email it to yourself or such like. Compresso you can select here so in this instance there's uh, one uh, option for Compresso, Compresso uh, C10.1 and all the parameters so there's the compressor type, there's the compressor vessel that would go with it as well, a standalone vento if you were looking for pressure step degassing as a separate item. All of this calculated data again below and your third my option might be I would like a, a transfero. You can see here that it's selecting a TV 6.1. Um, Again, all of the information and the vessel selection size is below with all of this additional information. If I wanted to export this information, I can click down here on my export button and it will give me the option to send this information out in whatever particular format that I, uh, that I choose to. So perhaps we're going to create a PDF and here's your PDF. 